This has had a chance to dry. It's dry to the touch, but it's still leather hard. And what Scraffito is, is scratching. And it's scratching through a contrasting colored clay. So I have the white clay of the bowl, and then I've put a brown slip on here. It's an iron-based slip. And I'm just going to carve some lines in this. So when you're doing this, you could do a pattern, you could do a design, you can do a drawing. You don't want to use something as sharp as a needle tool. You want something that you can carve this slip away. So I'm going to just divide this up. So halfway, 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 maybe one more time. And you could do a plan design, or you could just go randomly like I'm going. The advantage of slip is the design stays where you put it. Unlike trying to do a design in glaze. Another advantage is you put the slip on, you do your design when the pot is fresh in your consciousness you're really one with the pot and you do everything it's has a nice continuity to it and then when it comes time to glaze it's easy you just either not glaze it at all and this would come out a rich dark brown with the white clay showing through or put a glaze on it a clear now some colored glazes are affected by the colors of slip underneath, so you can get some really beautiful results that way too. But what's a sure thing is all these lines are going to show and the contrast between the two different colors is going to show. And remember, wait until it's leather hard like this. You see how nicely it's pe peeling away? It's just like when you're trimming. Just can be as simple or as complicated as you'd like. I'm going to make this kind of a basket weave pattern. Now, all my lines are the same thickness. It's often interesting to vary the thickness instead of trying to get it absolutely perfect. It's a lot more interesting to look at. I've done a lot of lined pieces and I would start by trying to make the lines exactly the same distance apart and they were kind of sterile. They didn't have much life to them. When there's a variation in the distance between the lines, it's often a lot more interesting to look at. Now what I'll be doing after this is bisque firing this, just putting it in the first firing.
And when it comes out of the first firing, I'll just dip it in one glaze. And when it comes out, this design will show. So this is how it's going to be. I'll have a contrasting color inside. And remember, if you get some where you don't want it, just sponge it off. Make sure your piece is signed. And put it out to fire. This other piece that I just randomly put slip on, you can come back and do more. As long as it hasn't dried, I could put more slip on top of here or I can do some scraffito. Make those really clear. Do a combination. Okay, that's kind of happy. Thank you.